Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be looking at over 13 balance changes, whether that be uh, nerfs or buffs and even some uh, changes to brawlers mechanics as well so we're going to be jumping into that i'll be giving you guys my thoughts on what i believe maybe should have happened instead of some of these balance changes because there's quite a few brawlers that i've missed out on the nerf list so we'll jump into that uh, pretty shortly but before we get into today's video make sure you're subscribed if you're not already i'm getting really close to 100,000 subscribers so i'd really appreciate if uh, if you subscribe only 3,000 away now so big thank you to everyone that does but without further ado Let's jump into it. Alright guys, jumping into the first brawler that has got a nerf is going to be Amber. So, Amber probably is the best brawler in the game right now. So, definitely justified in this nerf. Her main attack damage has decreased from 3,080 per second to 2,800. So, a small decrease of 200. I don't think that's going to impact her too much. But as well as this, she's actually received a buff in her super ability damage. It's increased from 2,520 to 2688 so a really small increase to be honest i feel like they've not nerfed her uh, as much as she needed i still think she's going to be really meta and she's just i feel like they should have nerfed her in a different way maybe her reload speed maybe her hp as well maybe something to do with her gadget but she just still feels like she's going to be pretty op all right so next up on the nerf list is edgar everyone's been crying out for an edgar nerf because of how good he is in showdown and this nerf is a nerf to his health so it's gone from 4200 to 3920 so i feel like they've probably nerfed him in the uh, wrong way because in 3v3 modes he was pretty squishy anyways with uh supers going on throughout the game as soon as a lot of people had their supers around as soon as people started to group up around Edgar and just stayed away from his distance he was pretty easily counterable but inside of showdown uh it's obviously a 1v1 kind of game mode uh, you just jump onto someone with an Edgar and you're going to be winning that 1v1 near enough every single time. Maybe this health uh, decrease is going to help uh, it not be as good in showdown. In terms of 3v3 mode, he's just going to suffer even more. Maybe a nerf to his gadget would have been more sufficient. So next up on the nerf list is Jesse. Her health has decreased only a small amount from 4,480 to 4,200. So this is going to definitely impact the 1v1 Jesse engagements because normally it would take four shots to kill an enemy Jesse. Now we'll only uh, go back to three shots, uh, but just overall, uh, having less HP just makes it a bit easier for her to be taken down. I feel like we should have gone down the nerf avenue a little bit differently. Her gadget is just so strong uh, on a turret and the same with her star power energizers as well. I feel like we should have definitely nerfed the turret. So the fourth and final nerf, early small nerf list is going to be Mr. P. So his uh, health as well as Jesse has gone from 4,480 to 4200 so a bit surprised by this one because mr p's gadget as everyone should have known by now is really really strong the amount of spam he can produce on the field is just crazy his turret his uh, gadgets just so many porters just going around everywhere felt like we should have nerfed him in that category but at least now he's gonna be easier to take down and it could be less prominent in the metal. All right, guys, now moving on to the buff. So starting off with Bali. This one's only a small one. His extra nauseous, I don't even know if I said that correctly, but extra damage has increased from 140 to 200. So only small, increased by 60 damage, but I feel like that's probably what Bali needed. Bali wasn't the best in this current meta. He fell out of siege meta and fell out of a lot of different places. So that extra damage can help him be a little bit more viable. So next up on the buff list is Bo. Bo, one of the worst brawlers in the game right now due to the fact that his gadget got nerfed. So his bounty strategy wasn't as good anymore. But the buff to him at the moment, his main attack damage per arrow has gone from 728 to 784. So obviously this is going to be improving his DPS. I don't think it's going to matter too much because the main issue with him at the moment is the fact that both of his gadgets are just really lackluster and just don't really do anything in terms of improving his uh, kit and mobility overall. Uh, but the extra damage will definitely improve him in the meta in the long run. Okay, so next up is Brock. And finally, he's getting a bit of a buff. So his main attack damage has increased from 1,456 to 1568 and if i'm not wrong i think that was what his damage was at originally so i think that's reverting back the damage which they took away in the previous uh, previous balance change but i still feel like that's not going to be enough for him to return back to the metal okay so next up on the buff list is carl and as you guys probably know as well carl has pretty much fell completely out of the meta he used to be a top five brawler easily but now with his buffs hopefully 
We may see him return back to the meta because Carl's really from Barilla. But anyways, he's got two set of changes in the next set of balance changes coming to the game. So the first one, his protective pirouette damage reducing shield has increased from 30% to 35%. So that's not going to do too much to him because uh, protective pirouette was already a really good star power. So is power throw. So it's going to increase his viability a little bit more. But the main one is going to be his other gadgets. So now... Uh, with the uh, heat ejector gadget whenever someone gets uh, even in contact with the fire it's going to set them on fire for 300 damage per second for four seconds so think of it just like an el primo el fuego or that kind of fire uh, thing it takes down uh, over four seconds and i feel like this could be a good change okay guys so jumping into the next one crow is getting another set of buffs in this next set of balance changes which is really good for everyone that mains Crow. Crow obviously been such a bad brawler for a very long time now. But I've got to be careful if uh, in case they buff him too much. But these set of balance changes, I feel like uh, definitely were the right set. So extra toxic damage debuff against poison targets. Increased from 20% to 25%, which is a nice change. I like the fact that they've gone towards the star power route uh, to buff him first because... If they buff too many things, it can be really, really toxic. And also, his carrying the Crow Star Power, extra damage against low health targets has gone from 120 to 152. So I feel like this is pretty perfect. I don't think it's going to be an OP brawler, but I think just like Leon, he's going to find a little bit more viability in the metal. Okay, so moving into the next buff, this is a very small buff for Gale. I don't think it's going to really impact it too much. We'll have to wait and see. But his super ability damage has increased from 140 to 336. So whenever you use your super Gale, it does literally a tiny bit of damage, like a bit of chip damage, 140, 336. Maybe that will come to something. Maybe if you get three supers off in a row, I think that will equal to nearly 1,000 damage. So this may be have a big impact okay so moving into my favorite buff of course of the balance changes it's going to be to gene so as everyone knows and i've been crying for a long time now gene has been trash in the meta so he's received a hp buff from 4480 to 5040 so reverting back to his old hp which i absolutely love definitely a good thing for gene unfortunately still going to take four shots to get his super unfortunately he still has a trash gadget but for sure this is a huge buff to gene and it's going to increase him in viability in the meta a whole lot more all right guys so moving on to the last set of balance changes going to be on lou so lou has received three buffs and honestly lou's been so underwhelming in the meta for a long time now he's only really good in siege and in hot zone and both of those mo uh, modes he's just fell out of the meta unfortunately so his health has increased from 4,340 to 4,480. Obviously, a small uh, HP increase, but it's going to be okay. His super ability now deals 40 damage per second. So that is uh, pretty cool as well. A little bit of chip damage. And then the last one is Hyperthermia Star Power. Uh, his debuff has so increased from 35% to 50%. So for sure, this is going to be really good news for Lou. And finally, moving into the final change of the balance changes. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't got the dev build to actually record this myself. So you're going to have to see some other gameplay of this. But as you can see, Tick's main attack mine now spreads further apart based on throwing distance. So I think this is a bit of a nerf more than... A buff in a sense i'm not too sure completely let me know down in the comment section below what you think of that change and then also the backup mine gadget has been replaced by mine mania which adds three extra mines to ticks next attack this is insane this looks like a really cool gadget we'll have to wait and see whether it'll be better than his new one because this new one's insane so it looks like two really good gadgets for tick all right guys that's going to be the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed these set of balance changes and to be honest I feel like there's a lot of brawlers that have been untouched, as you can see. Well, there's a brawler where I'm staring at right now, Ruffs. He's absolutely insane in this meta. Unfortunately, he hasn't got nerfed, so just wondering uh, why they kind of left out, uh, out on him. Maybe there'll be a few brawlers that kind of counter him in the next meta. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but it was a few brawlers, which I feel like narrowly uh, literally... Uh, avoided the nerf list and also some brothers that haven't got a lot of love but overall i think there's some really good balance changes we'll have to wait and see what the new meta looks like and definitely make sure you're subscribed to see uh what the meta looks like whenever the update drops so that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time